The Beta Gauge 330 pressure calibrator is a revolutionary device that can generate test pressures up to 150 PSIG using its built-in battery-operated electric pump. Most of the time it works perfectly to make it easy and trouble-free to test or calibrate a wide variety of process pressure instrumentation. Occasionally you may find it doesn't generate pressure or doesn't hold a generated pressure. In almost all cases this is due to some contamination of the valves in the pump system. The engineers and designers at Martel took into account that this might occur and designed the calibrator so that the valves are easily accessible to the user and just as easily cleaned. The cleaning procedure is also documented in the manual, but who reads them when you can watch a short video that shows you exactly how to do it yourself? To begin, turn the calibrator over to expose the battery compartment door. Loosen the captive screw there and remove the door. Now you can see the two valves that likely need cleaning. Use an appropriately sized flat blade screwdriver to remove the two valve caps. If the spring and o-ring assemblies do not come out with the valve caps, turn over the calibrator and tap it to capture them in your hand. Now you are ready to start the cleaning process. Clean out the valve bodies using a lint-free swab and isopropyl alcohol. Repeat this process as needed until there is no further evidence of dirt, oil, or contamination. Press the pump button or operate the pump pleasure several times and recheck for contamination. If, if more contamination appears, repeat this process until it is all clean from the calibrator pressure system. If available, clean compressed air can be used to blow out and dry out the valve bodies. Any unseen dust or contamination can be reduced or eliminated. Carefully examine the O-rings for damage such as cuts or deformation. Spring tension is checked by measuring the length of the spring in a relaxed state. It should be approximately 5 millimeters in length. If shorter, they may not have sufficient tension to seal the valves. If the O-rings are damaged or the springs do not meet tension specifications, use the repair kit part number 1010062 to replace them. Use isopropyl alcohol to clean the O-rings and spring assembly as needed. All clean parts should be completely dry before reassembly. If not, the O-rings will stick and the valves will not work properly. Once all the parts are clean and in good order, place the O-ring and spring assembly in the valve body. Be sure the spring is properly seated on the valve body. Reinstall the valve caps and tighten gently. You will encounter some compression from the O-rings, but the caps must be tightened until they stop. Do not over tighten. Now test the cleaning by plugging the calibrator output port and operate the pump to at least 50% of calibrator capacity. Vent the pressure and repeat a few times to make sure the O-rings seat properly.
That's it. You have successfully returned your beta gauge 330 to good operating condition. A similar procedure can be used to clean the valves of our hand-operated pneumatic pumps. Thank you for watching our video. We welcome feedback at video at martellcorp.com.